Let's talk about Anchored VWAP. That's right, it's this drawing tool right here. We're going to select it and then pick a starting point because it's anchored. So in this instance, anchored means you are anchoring it to a specific point in time. And just like that, the line instantly calculates and is shown on your chart. And you can quickly see here how fast we're doing this. We can also work off our favorites toolbar, which is floating here. So we could just click anchored VWAP and click, click anchored VWAP and click. And we could zoom back. You know, we could go back as far as we want to calculate this tool. So in this instance, here's 2018. We can click and it will calculate. So now that you've seen how fast Anchored VWAP works and how easy it is to use on TradingView, let's start from the basics and let's also give a few tips for using this tool. Now, if you were watching, we go up here to the left side menu where it says Trendline Tools. We click to open this menu and here are all of the Trendline Tools available to us and there is Anchored VWAP. We click the tool and now it is selected if you happen to favorite it, which is this star icon, it's been favorited, it will appear on your floating toolbar here. So now that we have this anchored VWAP tool selected, the first step is just pick a starting point. So when we click, it instantly calculates just like that. So anchored VWAP will actually write it down on the chart so that you really understand if you're just getting here. Anchored VWAP, like this, and the key here is VWAP. What does VWAP stand for? Well, this stands for Volume Weighted Average Price. Now, when you break out those words, it begins to make sense, right? It is Volume Weighted. So, the calculation of anchored VWAP is going to be Volume Weighted. What that means is, what Volume Weighted means is, these big volume spikes, at these price levels, these, these big volume spikes, which this one would be here, they're going to have a bigger impact on the average price in the anchored VWAP line. So it's volume weighted. The more volume there is at a specific price, if there's more volume, it will have a bigger impact on the average price of that line. That is so important. So it's a volume weighted, average price you can just combine the two of these so we'll open up our text box here and just so you can visualize it it's volume and it's price and it's sort and it's an average price we should do this actually it's volume plus weighted plus average price so it's these three things wrapped into one indicator where volume is what weights it the more volume there is the more impact it will have on the calculation of the VWAP line. Okay, now that we've given you that really basic overview, let's talk about tips for using anchored volume weighted average price and some examples of how it can be used to actually trade. So what, what a trader might do. Now remember, everyone has different trading and investing styles, so there is no such thing as a, you know, um, you know, a one size works all the time. It's actually much more than that. You need to get in there and study these tools yourself and figure out how you want to use it and what, what works best for you. Maybe you back test it. Maybe you have a different time frame. You prefer to use 30 minutes as opposed to daily. Uh, it's totally up to you, but we're going to give you some examples in this video. Okay, to get started, why don't we just go to a chart of Apple? And as you can see, here's a chart of Apple. We'll click one year, so we'll only look at one year, one year worth of data. It's exactly one year back, 12 months. And what we're going to do with this anchored VWAP example is select the tool and we're going to do something really simple. We're going to go to Apple's earnings report. That happened a year ago. So right here, see this E icon? We're going to now match up our anchored VWAP with that E and click. And how interesting is that? This is our anchored VWAP line from its earnings report one year ago. Here's July 2020. Check out its next earnings report right here in August 2021. So by the time it gets to here, it will be exactly one year. And guess what? We have an average weighted volume price here going back to that earnings report. And now we can use this to make some decisions going forward. 
it potentially looks like maybe someone had already had this in mind and really cleaned up following this line most recently heading into this earnings report. So that's one way you can use Anchored VWAP. You can anchor it to big moments in time like earnings. An earnings report is really important. It's when a company tells you, you know, how much money they earned, if they beat the estimates. And it's really, if you're buying shares, especially in a stock, right, it's going to tell you basically how much money is on the balance sheet, how much money they're generating that as a shareholder, you get to own a percentage of. And by anchoring VWAP to these key dates, you can get a better sense of average price, right? Average price, but really important, with the biggest volume spikes anchoring or waiting, sorry, not anchoring, waiting that price. So these spikes are gonna have a bigger impact on the average price than these lower volume areas. So that's one way you can use anchored VWAP in your investing or trading. Pick earnings reports to anchor your VWAP line to. So, and remember, it doesn't have to be a year. You can do anchored VWAP for as far back as you want. For example, if you wanted to go all the way back to, let's see, here's this upcoming earnings report is August 2021. So in that instance, we could actually go back to here's 2019. And here we are, August. This is late July 2019. So we could now anchor it to this one. So this same report, but in 2019. Wow, really interesting. The trend has just been so strong. Uh, during the coronavirus crash, COVID-19, you can see it broke through there and it cracked that line quite, you know, it really sliced through, but then it was off to the races once it reclaimed that. But what you could then do is use this line, this long-term line, if you believe this is a really important quarterly earnings report going back one year, two year, three years, this earnings report right here, you could use this line as a gauge of, you know, maybe this is the, uh, in this instance, one of the last levels of support. But let's keep diving in because this works for many more asset classes than just equities. So we've shown you how you can anchor it now to earnings reports. Well, another example is you can actually anchor it to uh, just big starting dates. So for example, why don't we click year to date? So now we're looking at a year to date chart of Bitcoin. Then let's go ahead and select our anchored VWAP drawing tool. So we've selected it. And right here is the start of the year. Look at that, January 1, 2021, we click, super interesting. We now have a year to date anchored VWAP line showing right on our chart. So this is your volume weighted average price since the start of the year, year to date. Why is this important? Well, managers love to measure their performance each year. How did they do from the start of the year to the end of the year? This is a volume weighted average price from the start of the year, and you could track this all the way through the end of the year. But what would be really interesting if you're a trader and an investor here, if you were looking for a setup, is to pay close attention to this line. Will price revisit it potentially? And will it bounce off it? Or will it get rejected by it? Will it break through it? All things you wanna consider, but that is another way that you can use anchored VWAP is you can anchor it to these specific times like year to date. In the last example, we showed you earnings and a few more tips. We really wanna dive into all the anchored VWAP tips that we have to offer. Let's now go to another asset class. How about gold? Let's do gold. And the reason, by the way, why we're showing you all of these asset classes is because it's important to know that because anchored VWAP, anchored VWAP, is a volume weighted average price so it works for all assets if the asset has volume and it's traded you can perform this research and analysis on the chart you can do everything that we're showing you right now on that asset it could be a crypto a stock a forex pair or a commodity like gold it's all right here it just is a matter of selecting anchored VWAP. So one more cool thing we'll show you, another tip for using anchored VWAP is to create a ribbon. So we're gonna show you a ribbon example of what you could do. Now, 
gold does not have earnings or it does not really have these big events because it is a commodity in the earth that has a value it's used in different processes and it's just you know it's very continuous in nature so what you could do is create a ribbon so you're going to go ahead and select anchored VWAP and find some points that are important to you well this dip looked really important gold crashed spiked right out of it so let's click a line another example here might be this top it you know this was a huge run up in gold and it seemed to be the top so let's click again okay another interesting moment in time is if we really zoom out here it would appear that this point here was almost the last cycle high in 2019 and this point here seemed to be a low in 2019 so now we have the high of 2019 this low drawdown of 2019 we have this drop in 2020 and we have this high in 2020 and now we've created this ribbon four different points in time four different anchored VWAPs all on the chart and now we can use this ribbon to remind us about some levels to watch and by the way remember if you double click the line you can change its color so in this instance maybe we want to do uh, more intense colors the further we go down so this one maybe is you know green we'll do kind of short term and then this one maybe will be a a how about uh, let's see maybe a lighter green because you're kind of getting closer here then if it were to break here why don't we make this an even lighter green and then on this one actually what we'll do is we'll turn this one to red it's sort of like our last resort line in this instance so what we've done now is we've created our own ribbon with four key dates and actually if you look at the chart here it's quite interesting you can use this to really build some support and resistance levels and actually right now price is respecting this line you also then have would have this one here from your second drawing and this one here and this one here and so you've created this ribbon for your own analysis now remember all of this that we're doing is, are just examples these are not you know all, there's no such thing as a uh, uh, something that wins all the time it takes hard work back testing patience you want to refine your strategy but what we are showing you are the tools available to you to dive in and do this yourself it is free it's easy to use if you're a pro pro plus or premium member you'll have the fastest data flow and all of the features available to you and it's just clicking this anchored view up tool and getting started so we hope that this video helps and make sure you give it a try if you have any questions or comments please ask them in the comment section below thank you for watching